Hey folks, um, I am here to do a flip through of this posh coloring book inspired by nature by Marjolene Baston. I'm not sure, Baston, I'm not sure how to say her name. But anyway, this is a book that I think um, will lean towards water coloring. Um, the paper is really thin, so I will probably have to... Um, put it on my own paper but the images that you have to go by are very nice and it just gives you kind of like the outlines and I'm not sure how good you can see that because they are light but you have your reference and then the outlines and it does look like a book that would definitely need to be watercolored so I'm either going to have to tear this apart if I can't scan it as it is because like I said the paper is is quite thin but these images right here would be good just to cut and frame as they are but I will probably take the book apart the signatures um, seem to be um, put in with a thread, so with each signature, I think we can just cut, cut it and um, take it apart. But like I said, the images are gorgeous. The reference images are gorgeous. So we will see like that one. So we will see what I can do with it. There are a lot of um, a lot of images in this book. So it's a pretty pretty little hefty book. Pretty thick. Like I said, if you're not going to use pencil, I would definitely probably scan it onto your own paper because it is scanned. But they look like perfect images for watercolor. So pull out those watercolors and get to it. With the watercolor, you don't have to be so specific. You go back over it with pencil for your details. Sometimes I just leave it, let it ride with the watercolor look because I like how the watercolor um, effect looks. But yes, there are quite a few images in this book. I'm kind of excited to try one out. And see how it goes. It just has, you know, your outlines and you can just go in and add your own details. I love that it has reference photos. nothing else you can have reference photos for um, other flowers too if you don't know if you see another book and you don't know what color flower they needs to be and it's in this book you have a reference photo for it but yeah I like it and it's cute too a lot of birds a lot of birds But I'm curious to see what I can do with it. I think that's the last one. So there it is. 
nice little book that you can um, tear apart or use pencil in it if you want. I do, I do think that it leans toward water medium personally though. So there's you another flip through. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.